I hope you're well and for today's video I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day I haven't done one of these in so long but I really enjoy doing them I'm actually looking forward to what I'm gonna to eat today I'm just about to make it's gonna be more like a brunch because it's actually half two I've just got back from doing some shopping and I'm absolutely starving like I cannot get a sentence together get a sen cannot put a sentence together um I've, I've done the intro many times I'm starving. So what I'm gonna have for breakfast, brunch, is maybe breakfast. We'll see. We'll see what happens that day. Um, because I have got I did buy lunch um for today, which I really want to have. So hopefully we will. So I've been having this for the last few days, but I've kind of changed it up for today. I'm gonna have a scrambled egg bagel, this time with spinach, but I've also bought different tofu so i used just like you can buy like actual like scrambled tofu like it's already like ready for you but i bought this one which is uh cauldrons cauldrons is that even? i don't know it looks like that pressed tofu with italian herbs and tomato and then i've got oh i've got my bagel I'm just gonna use new york bakery the original and an onion because i'm gonna add some of that into the tofu but honestly, I'm so hungry that like this needs to be made ASAP. But it doesn't take that long to be fair. Um, I'm hoping. Oh, I'm also gonna add some Bosch's Bosch's um, <laughs> garlic and herb nooch, which is nutritional yeast. I had this with the scrambled tofu the other day, and oh my god, it was so nice. So I had the scrambled tofu for like two days. First day I didn't have it with this. And it was okay then the next day i did oh it really just made it so much nicer so yeah i feel like it's going to be a lot of different flavors but i think that's just the best so this is what it looks like when it comes out and um, so we'll just cut that and uh, drain all the juice okay i'm just gonna drain that i'm gonna heat up a pan with some oil So that's done. I'm now just going to chop up this onion. I don't know how much I'm going to use. We'll just um, see. So I need to peel the top layer. I might have. I love onion. I love onion. Onion, onion. <laughs> well, I really did a botch job of cutting that up, but you know what? I'm not too fussy. With my onions being um, how they're cut, I'm no chef, as you may realise. I'll show you what I eat, but please <laughs> take notice of how I actually do stuff <laughs> because. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. As long as I don't kill myself. Or give myself food poisoning. Then I'm happy. That'll do. That's all my onion. Voila. Beautiful. I'll probably use half of the scrambled egg. Well, not scrambled. Tofu. <laughs> I'm delusional. So that's a decent amount. Let's put the onions in the pan. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna fry this off a little bit. So it says for the tofu to cook it on the hob for six minutes on a medium heat. But I think that's, um, now this went trial and error. Because this is like block, but I'm obviously gonna like break it up, but I'm, I'm sure that's fine. Honestly, I just go with it and just go with my instinct. It ends up tasting, that's the main thing. That's all I care about. Turn that heat down a bit. So I'll just break it up in my hands. It's very easy to just break it up like that. Oh, I didn't actually. Oh, it's fine. I didn't try to get any water out of it, but it's okay. So yeah. Honestly, this is just like <gasps> trial and error. We're doing this together, you know. So we'll just put that on there. We'll heat that up with a bit of oil. 
already put a bit. You know what? I didn't really eat spinach at all until um, I started doing HelloFresh. And then they, they normally have spinach in their dishes. And that's what I was like, ooh, I actually really like it. I think that should be enough for a, a bacon. I've got probably about half left. So I'll save that in the day. So whilst all that's cooking, I'll just um, get my bagel ready. So I'll just slice it in half. There we are. So I'm just going to add some of this nutritional yeast. I do not like add a certain amount. I can just chuck it in and guess. And then just stir that in. I'm also going to start adding my spinach in. It waters down, so it won't seem this much when it's all done. But yeah, this tofu looks really good. I'm just going to turn the heat down on that. I'll just put the bagel in the toaster to get that ready. This is what it's currently looking like. Just waiting for this to water down a bit. This is pretty much done this tofu, I'd say. I feel like if you compared my old what I eat to these ones, I just didn't cook. Like now I feel like, since it literally is since HelloFresh, so it's not been that long. But since HelloFresh, I can really start getting into cooking and I enjoy it. And I feel like, um, you know, I'm learning from HelloFresh, other like people on YouTube and Instagram that are vegan and they do like recipes. But I'm also like, I'm looking for it and I just really enjoy it. And I enjoy like fresh ingredients and being vegan, you're going to feel like you really just experiment with the different things, like things that you never would have, you know, like I would have never used Nooch before turning vegan. But it's so, it's so cool. And like, I enjoy not using like processed stuff all the time. So, you know, like chicken nuggets and stuff like that. I like trying to eat more uh fresh food yeah like i said look out and you, you know by the end you barely get much but i think that's almost done so i'll take that off the hob soon again same with this just waiting for my bagel now just get a bowl out i'm gonna use this is from luke's um home and i find this is perfect because it's like a little bowl but also a plate and it just fits bagel in perfectly timing i just turned the hob off just gonna butter my bagel i'm using the flora lighter um just because it's less calories than the normal one but you cannot tell the difference i'm really i'm really looking forward to this i feel like i've been looking forward to it since i bought the ingredients <laughs> which was yesterday honestly i also love bagels i go for a phase i like eating bagels like every day i think it was the tofu yeah the scrambled tofu and i was like oh what could i have it on i thought oh what about a bagel and then yeah i've start, I started my obsession again so i'm first going to add the spinach to the bottom of the bagel i'll show you this i wish i could show you <laughs> but we'll add that to the bottom so there we go that's the spinach on first and now we'll add the tofu the perfect so let's add that on honestly just yak it off because you always have more tofu than fits on the actual bagel but oh looks a bit um interesting then let me just show you what the actual thing looks like so there we are oh that looks so good okay let's try this bagel out i'm so excited come on that's so good Honestly, things like this are just so versatile, which I really like. Because, like, you could have had, um, I've been adding, like, this peri-peri seasoning. You could add any seasoning you want. Salt, pepper, garlic, anything you like. Then you could add, like, spring onion in. Avocado. Um, so many different things, which is, it's so fun. Like, every day you could just have something totally different. But the same ingredient, like, same basic ingredients. Tofu. Bagel. Oh, it's amazing. I'm really impressed with myself actually, I really enjoy this. Um, I definitely recommend giving scrambled tofu a try, you know, on a bagel, on toast, I have it on toast, it's so good. Um, in a wrap, you can make, like I was watching this video yesterday, and you can make like a scrambled egg, sort of like burrito sort of wrap. It's so versatile. If you try it, do let me know, and I'm 
gonna go eat this while watching some TV. Probably watch, um, definitely gonna go watch uh, 22 Kids and Counting. I've still not completed my advent calendar, so I've only got two left. I've got 18 and 21. Now I think the odd numbers are the salty caramel. I wanna end on that one, so we'll have 18. I'm pretty sure. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. So for tea tonight, I'm gonna be making what I thought was a carbonara. However, I don't have a blender here. So a lot of means like you soak cashew nuts and then you blend them, but I don't have any. So I bought the ingredients thinking it was a carbonara. We're just gonna go with it and see what it makes. It's gonna make like a creamy pasta. I mean, it has bacon in there. I'm gonna do like a, Linguini pasta. So, also the red lip. Um, I was doing something which required a red lip and I just haven't taken it off. So, we're just gonna go with that. I've also got an hour and 10 minutes until um, this has to be done pretty much. So, I've got the recipe up now and I'm just gonna follow that. I'm gonna sort of copy it but also just kind of make it myself. Let's get everything out. So, for the bacon i'm gonna use this bacon which is just this isn't bacon plant-based lardons mm. so just look like that already cut up never had this before and saw it and thought oh that would be great for carbonara it said i needed vegan cream so i've got this one which is oatly and then you need a cream spread so i just got this um one from Sainsbury's, just plain. And you need garden peas defrosted, whole wheat penne pasta, parsley leaves I haven't got, nutritional leaves to have, salt and pepper, I haven't got pepper. Pan fry medium heat for five minutes. Oh my God, this is actually not gonna take long. Oh, it smells so good. It smells, oh, that smells so good. Let's not. This is the pasta I'm going to be using. Like, a, is it what is it called? Linguini? No, is it linguini? I always forget what this one's called. It's like spaghetti but flat. I don't always forget. I don't know. We'll fill a kettle up. The only thing is, is that I've not actually made pasta myself in so long that I actually don't know how much to put in. So it's always that thing where it's like cook too much might even not cook enough i don't know i may as well just i'm gonna add all the bacon in i'm gonna say this is a decent size pan also thank you luke for the jumper don't you think the jumper looks really good with the roll neck that is a lot oh cold and here we are like i said it's just a lot of like <sighs> trial and error trial and error just I mean, this is probably more trial and error than my brunch because I've never actually made this. So, we'll see, we'll see. Let's add some pasta to the pan. Let's add some water. And then we'll start cooking that. Pasta's in the pot. Warm up. This isn't gonna take long, so I can chill next. I'm probably gonna come back in like five minutes, see where the pass is up to, and carry on. Right, I'm back. I don't know if you can hear me over the extractor fan, but like I said, I always get paranoid. Something I don't wanna like set this smoke alarm off, so that is on. So if you can't hear me, I'm sorry, but uh, pasta's cooking away nicely, lovely juggly. I'm gonna start on the bacon, cream sauce. I'm gonna add some peas in there, it's gonna be good, hopefully. So, heating the pad up. Let's empty the bacon. So the bacon is in, it's for five minutes. Should we set a five minute timer? Let's do it. So here I want 200 milliliters of cream. I want 200. That'll do, it's two and four. So that's ready to go in when the bacon's done. 
So that's bacon cooking nicely. Looks really good. I kind of want to try a piece. For the cream cheese, you want well, you want three tablespoons of cream cheese. So that's ready. I'm also going to add some peas into this. Um, so I'm going to just cook them in the microwave and then add them to the dish as well. So I'll do that now. I'll get the peas out. Oh, you fell. That's not good, is it? So, honestly, these are so good. This is Luke's. Oh, best thing ever. So, got some peas in there. Gonna have me a warm. So, I'm just gonna put them in the microwave. Oh, but honestly, if you could smell the bacon right now. Oh, timer. No, that's a message. Let's add. Well, add the cream. No, we'll add the milk first. No. The cream first. I'm a bit scared though. I don't do things like this. This is this is out of my comfort zone. I've turned it down. It didn't want to burn or anything. It did say sh simmer, so that is what we're doing. Three scoops of cream. Wow, that's a lot. That's one. You know, I'm sure these things don't have to be 100 percent accurate. I think that's the thing, making food for other people is the pressure. Where like, what was I saying? Yeah, making food for other people is pressure. I don't mind making food for Luke, even then I'm be like, oh, what if you don't like it? What if it's not nice? Peas are ready, hopefully. Pasta's looking good, it's all coming together. I'm gonna add this up to a four. Let's get the peas out, see if they're looking good. Steamy, steamy, but let's have a look. Are they looking good? Are they looking mighty fine? We're all going to take more seconds. Peas are going in. This is looking good. So the pasta's, I would say, done. I just need to check it. And then here is the sauce. I'm pretty impressed with that. Can't lie. Just got in a four at the moment. Is like simmer but yeah that's looking good so it's currently 20 past and i started this at about five to i say something like that um just an idea of how long it takes but it's me as well so i can just take that a bit longer uh let's check on my pasta I feel like this is that is definitely done i'd say that's a nice bit of pasta that one way you can do it is throw it at the wall which i'm not going to do here but you can check past it if it sticks it's cooked However, I don't want to try a bit, but I also don't want to burn myself. Oh yeah, it's soft. Beautiful. Right. Let's drain that. Pasta I made. There's a lot of steam going on. Oh, I'll get scared of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the alarm off. Let's add the pasta. Oh. I feel at this point, you want the grabbers, don't you? Do we have any? Do you have these? Ah, pitch me on skin. It's not nice. Right. Oh, I'm so impressed with myself. Honestly, Luke would absolutely love this. I'll have to make it in some time. I've definitely made <laughs> enough for two. What do we think? Hey, have I done a good job of this? I'm well impressed with myself. Um, all I've got to do now is try it. Oh, I didn't add any nutritional yeast. Let's add a bit. Oh, just don't add it on. Add and let's just stir that in. Oh, this nutrition. This is actually a Bosch recipe. And I'm using Bosch's garlic and herb newt. Right, I'm gonna give it a try while it's in here. Gotta be one of them, see if I can make it any better. get a bit of the bacon in there. I wish Luke was here to try this. Oh wow. With the bacon. Yeah, that is ready. That is done. I'm ready to serve that up. I'm going to take a photo to Luke first. Oh, he's going to be so proud. 
também. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Very last, I've actually botched up my lipstick like it's all. <laughs> it's all over me when I tried it. But let's let's add it to a bowl. These are tiny little things. I don't know where Luke's. Luke, do you not have bigger ones? I might just. I don't know what I'm doing now. This is where I burn myself. This is the bit where I don't know how to serve up, and it's really heavy. Let's swap pans. <laughs> right, let's add some in. Cause this looks unreal. Is that, I'm just putting it all in. I don't really want it all at the moment. Thank you. But, right, we're gonna have to stop somewhere. Come on guys. Also, I don't know if anyone else is like really messy like me, but by God, I make a mess. We are, this is the final. Oh, that's so good. <gasps> Oh, I'm, I'm sliding out. Oh, I've got lipstick on my face. Oh, this is good so well. Oh, it's so good. It actually is really nice. Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of myself. Definitely give this a try. I mean, I've kind of taken a bit from Bosch's recipe. And then I basically copied Bosch. But, like, their recipe was with tofu where I've just used that actual, like, vegan bacon. I saved a lot of time. I'm gonna go eat this, gonna go watch some Netflix. I'm calling it watching Astal Afterlife. Um I'm still on I'm on the first season. But yeah. Uh Bon Appetit. Bon Apple Teeth. So it's now uh twenty to nine and I sort of got us filming um what are you in the day, but I've just had a jelly. I had a bit more of the pasta and then I've just had a Hartley's mango and passion fruit jelly oh, so good so that's probably everything that I'm gonna have to eat today I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you try anything that I've showed you today please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all right soon goodbye